Today we're taking a look at how to zoom in on a video or photo or other asset in Adobe Premiere. So let's jump in. We've got our asset here. Uh, we're going to right click and say new sequence from clip. Doesn't matter. However, you already have it in the timeline. There you go. Um, and let's say we want to zoom in on uh, the hand on the trackpad. So what we're going to do is make sure that our clip is selected on the timeline and then go to the effect controls tab and where it says scale, that is zoom. So what you can do is a couple ways. See where it says 100? By default, it's scaled to 100 or 100% 100 um, of the file size. So right now, let's say we want to go to 125%. Now that's zoomed into 125%. You are losing resolution, of course. Um, if, for example, you're on a, uh, a 1080 timeline and it's a 1080 clip, the more you zoom in, think of it like a digital zoom. Uh, it's going to start to become pixelated the more you zoom in on this. Let's, I'm going to zoom in like 600% just to prove the point. So that you can start to really see the, uh, the compression here uh, and it gets pretty pixelated. So try, try to avoid that. If you shot in 4K and you're working in a 1080 timeline, um, you're not, you can zoom in up to 200% without a problem. So let's just say 200% for giggles here. Now, of course, it's all over the place. To move it, click on motion, so that's right here, and just move it to wherever you need it to be. There you go. Uh, another way to zoom in, let me just undo what I did. Again, make sure the, the clip is selected, where it says scale, it says 125. You can click on it and drag it to the left or right, and that way you can see the change in real time. Um, and if you want to have a zoom effect, let's say you want it to start at Let's say 100%, I'm going to just click on that, say 100, enter, brings it right to 100, snaps to 100. Um, I'm going to add a keyframe, let's say right here, and in a couple seconds, we want it now to be zoomed in at 150% on the trackpad. What you do is go to scale, 150, and there you go, that's it. From that point to this, it's those two keyframes there. Uh, is when the zoom starts. So up until now, it's scale 100. And then here, it's going to start the progression to 150%. Now you can also add other keyframes to change the motion as well. Now, something else you can do with the zoom, by default, it's a linear movement uh, with these keyframes, meaning um, at that point, it's 100, and then it automatically just starts on a, uh, you know, a, a progressive track to get to whatever it is your target, in this case, 150. So it just, it's just going normal, and then it just starts going up at wherever it needs to go. Um, on the first point, now he, here's a trick if you want to make it look more like it was a camera motion where literally a camera operates with a camera, and they start a zoom in. It's obviously not just a click, and it starts going. Um, it's kind of a it's this very gradual thing. So we right-click on the first one and say ease out, and then we look at the uh, other one here. That's, that's the end point and say ease in. Now what that does is it's nice and smooth. Watch this. It's like somebody with a, could have been there with a camera making that camera motion when it really is a static image. Now let's watch it again one more time with a linear. So a little bit jerky. I'm a perfectionist. I would not leave that as linear. If I want to make that camera motion and made it obvious and didn't want to make it obvious that I did this in post, I would do the ease out, ease in transition on those keyframes. So that's it. That's how you zoom it in. Uh, Premiere, it's called scale, and that's how you do it. Be careful blowing it up too much because you will get pixelated, but if that's the look you're going for, you don't really care, knock yourself out. Anyway, hopefully that helped you. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If it did not help you or if... I didn't answer a question that you had. Please let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks. Take care.